what are airdrops and how do we capitalize on them? I know many of you heard about the Arbitrum airdrop after it was too late. Myself, I got a tiny bit on another wallet. I didn't qualify on, on the wallet I used for DFK, but I got a tiny bit on another wallet because I didn't do the right things. I should have. And what that told me was I was spending way too much time in DeFi kingdoms, way too much time not exploring all of the potential airdrops out there. I'm not talking about the five to $10 you can earn. I'm talking about the thousand or $10,000 that we can earn by doing this right. So going here, I asked this question last week. I said, I'm going to start looking at covering as many airdrops as possible and how we can ensure that we're eligible when snapshots take place. Would that be something you'd want to hear about? 82% of people said yes. And I think 4% of people said, what's an airdrop? You know what I mean? So what is an airdrop? Well, an airdrop is actually a marketing strategy. It's a ploy. It's how new projects attract attention. They if you, they will provide digital tokens to people who are active members of their community as a gift. One such example, we see this with DeFi Kingdoms. DeFi Kingdoms gave land to people who staked Jewel in the past. They also gave a chance to win a Gen Zero to people who summoned on their network, right? So if you summoned heroes during a time period, whether it was dark summoning, summoning, or staking C Jewel or S Jewel, you're qualified for a specific uh, Gen Zero raffle. This is a very similar kind of thing. However, in most cases, they just give you an they just give you their token, which is actually very valuable. Arbitrum token launched at I think one point three dollars US. Some people got like thousand to ten thousand, depending on what they did to prep. So, um, you know. How are they paid out? Well, sort of the way they decide uh, who gets it is they take a snapshot at a certain date. They never tell you when it's coming. They, they tell you after the fact um, and the airdrops are allocated to wallets who hit certain criteria. So you can hit a few things, but if you don't hit enough, you don't qualify. Okay. So then basically, how do we capitalize? How do we as DeFi Kingdoms players capitalize? Because remember, well, I mean, no matter how much you believe in DFK, I think there's a part of us who want to make money, right? And I ask me at least, and I think as many of you as well. So every snapshot is different. However, the best way to maximize your opportunity for your airdrop is to get lots of activity and volume on the chain. Okay. That is the utmost important criteria. And I'm going to talk about how we can do this for one of the biggest airdrops that is coming out this year that a lot of people are sleeping on. Okay. So for Arbitrum, you can see here, uh, what they did, right. Was they focused on a couple things, right? They focused on, um, did you bridge funds into the Arbitrum network? Did you conduct transactions on Arbitrum during two distinct months, six distinct months, and nine distinct months because they didn't want people to just come in here and farm the airdrop. Also, another criteria, how many transactions did you do? Did you do more than four transactions or interacted with four different contracts, right? When you think about contracts, remember every time you go in and like, let's say you're swapping Jewel to Jade, the first time you did it, you had to hit approve. That's a smart contract. The first time you summoned your hero, that's a smart contract. The first time you use a stone on your hero, that's a smart contract. So just by utilizing the ecosystem, you qualify, right? And that's sort of what they want. They don't want people who just go, Hey, I want free money. Let me walk away with it. Right? So they did four, 10, 25, hundred. Then did you conduct transactions exceeding an aggregate $10,000 value in Arbitrum? Now keep in mind that doesn't mean $10,000 net. Like what that means is like, let's say I have a thousand dollars. I swap a thousand dollars of us dollar to a thousand dollars in jewel and back and forth and back and forth. And then 10 times that'd be $10,000 that I, that I did. Right. So, and the, the fee is still very small, especially now on 
the Ethereum, not Ethereum, but on Arbitrum, where they've reduced fees drastically versus traditional Ethereum network. So these are things that people did. I know Christian Peter, if he's in the house, I'm sure he did all of these because I saw he got a massive airdrop.